the next networking event, networking event that you go to, I'm sure you've got one on the calendar. When you go to it, instead of trying to pass your business card out to 25 people and have 25 meaningless, quick conversations, how about have one or two real conversations? What's up, guys? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow! This is episode 143 of the Sales Wolves podcast, and this episode is titled Why Your Networking Is Not Working. <laughs> networking, not working. Maybe we should just call it not working. Maybe this episode should be called Not Working. Networking. Why your networking is not working. I don't know. You get the gist. Here's my problem with networking. Number one, I have, man, I hate like traditional networking. Like to go to a networking event and go have small talk with a bunch of people about, ugh, it's just like, that's my version of hell, literally. Like I, I can't stand it. But the reality is, I think a lot of networking efforts especially at like networking events are just not effective because it's this quantity, not quality mentality. It's how many people can I give my business card to? How many people can I give my, you know, 30 second elevator pitch to and, and explain what I do and somehow magically thinking that like the next day or the next week, one of those people is going to call you and say, Oh man, it was so nice to meet you for 30 seconds. I have the exact client that you need. It's just, just not going to happen. So how can we reframe our mindset around networking? Well, it, this should be obvious, but it's all about building relationships. Your success in life ultimately will be defined by the relationships that you build in the relationships that you cultivate, in the relationships that you invest your time into. The thing about building and cultivating a real relationship is that it is not selfish, right? Like how many relationships do you know that were successful where it was completely one-sided? None, none. And so here's my challenge for you guys. The next networking event, networking event that you go to, I'm sure you've got one on the calendar. When you go to it, instead of trying to pass your business card out to 25 people and have 25 meaningless, quick conversations, how about have one or two real conversations? Yeah, I've talked about this many times before. I'm not sure the last time I've talked about it on this podcast, but <clears throat> there's this concept of puddle love, puddle love. And it's based around the idea that you can drown in three inches of water. It is possible for a human being to drown in three inches of water. And the reality is when it comes to networking, we live in those three inches. We're comfortable in those three inches. Hey, how are you? Great. How are you? What do you do? I'm a banker. Hey, what do you do? I'm in commercial real estate. Awesome. Do you have a card? Yeah. Here's my card. Awesome. Talk to you later. Hey, how are you? Hey, good. How are you? Hey, what do you do? And, and it's in those three inches where nothing gets done. No connection is made. No needs are discussed. No solutions then can be discussed if no needs are discussed. And it's just just this fake false sense of connecting. That is the reason why your networking is not working. And so what would it look like to go into a room and to go up to someone you don't know and have a real conversation and talk about the things that you're actually going through. Talk about the problems and the obstacles that you're facing in your business. And guess what happens when you do that? Guess what happens when someone says, Hey man, how's business going? And instead of saying, great, how's business going with you? Great. 
what if somebody asked you that and you actually said, man, you know, <clears throat> lately I've been, I've been dealing with, with this issue in my business and man, it's been extremely difficult and I'm trying to figure out how to get past it. I'm trying to figure out how to overcome it, but you know, I haven't figured it out yet. And, um, and it's really been a trying time in, in my business trying to deal with that. Guess what's going to happen when you, when you, when you open up and you're actually transparent and honest with that person, chances are that person's going to say, man, um, I've been through that before. And, and here's what I found, uh, as I went through that process and this may be of, of, of value to you, but guess what they're also going to say, they're going to say something like, you know, lately in my business, I've been dealing with this. And this is the area that I've been focused on because it's, it's been a really difficult process to go through. And what happens in those moments is you create a bond and you create a connection because you're both sharing and you're both being honest and transparent with one another. And you're both opening up for the other person to be able to pour into you and possibly even help you uh, with that area that you're struggling with. And when you do that, you create a connection and you create this, this base of trust because it's authentic. And when you leave that networking event and you spent like five, 10, 15, 20 quality minutes in this real conversation with another human being, you're going to stay on their mind longer than that just fake, ridiculous conversation that we mentioned in the beginning, you're going to stay on that person's mind because there was a connection, a real connection that was actually made. And so beyond just a handing of a business card and Hey, this is what I do. Like that person is going to be thinking about you over the next couple of days. And if something does come up where someone does need the services that you provide, that person's like, you're going to be on their mind and they're going to think, Oh man, that's what Tyler does. You should talk to Tyler. I've actually got his card. I had a really good conversation with him. Great guy. Uh, we really, really connected. Like that's how real networking is done. That's how real business is built through networking, but it doesn't just end there. So you met that person at that networking event. You had this great conversation. Well, What's the key to any relationship that you're building? Communication, time, investing of time. So reach out to that person. Hey, man, I'd love to grab coffee with you next week and, and talk a little bit more about what you're going through. Notice the emphasis on what you're going through. Like genuinely be interested in helping them get better, helping them get through what they're going through. And when you go to that coffee meeting, it isn't with these motives of oh, I'm going to go and I'm going to pretend like I care about what they're going through, but really I'm just trying to get some referrals, but actually invest some time in getting to know that person, getting to know their goals and their desires and where they ultimately want to be in their business and seeing if there's anything that you can do to help. And what, what's developed in that process is this person is going to grow to know, like, and trust you. And who wants to do business with people that they know, like, and trust everybody, but see that one person doesn't represent one person. That one person represents a hundred people because they have the ability to tell people about this person that they met at a networking event that they actually connected with that reached back out and wanted to help them. And they had sat down with coffee and you had a real conversation and man, like it just doesn't happen anymore these days. In this fast paced social media driven world that we live in, there are fewer and fewer real conversations happening. And that's why we talk about this puddle of, cause it's really an epidemic. And so when you actually go deep with someone, when you actually really connect with someone, it's like, like, whoa, like this is, this is crazy. This is like, man, this was so amazing, but it's really just these simple steps of building and cultivating a relationship with another human being, which is why we're all here. And what will happen over time as you do this with one person and maybe two people at one event, and then you meet with those two people for coffee the following week, 
And then you shoot a text message. Hey man, was just thinking about you this week. You know, hope you have an awesome week. Hope everything's productive. Uh, if there's anything I can do, man, let me know. Um, you know, let's get together for lunch sometime next week. And as you develop these relationships, then you go to another networking event. You meet another one, two people. Then you go to another networking event the next month and you meet another one or two people. Next thing you know, you look back over the course of the year and no, you don't have 600 people that just have your business card probably in their trash can or maybe in some desk in their drawer that they're never going to look at again, that maybe remember what you do, maybe don't. But you look back after a year and you've got like, you know, 20, 30 people that you've actually connected with, that you've actually started to build a relationship with, that do know what you do. And when it comes up in their conversation, when it comes up in their everyday life, you are going to be the one that they think of. That's powerful. That's how you build a real business. And that's how networking really works. So start thinking about quality, not just quantity. It's not about how many people can I meet. It's about how deep I can go with one person, two people, maybe three if there's time. And I think it'll completely change the way you look at networking, certainly, but it'll completely change the way you're perceived by a group of people. Because in those moments when you're in a real conversation, like other people are taking notice because those other people are just walking around, handing out business cards, doing their thing. But they're like, man, those, those two people know each other. You know, chances are you get out of that conversation and someone's going to come up to that person. Like, Hey, do you know that guy? Like I didn't before I just walked in, but I feel like I know him now. seems like a great guy. He was genuinely interested in, in what I'm doing and, you know, trying to see if he could, you know, be a value in some way. And he actually gave me some good advice. And, and all of a sudden that stuff, it spreads, it spreads like wildfire because it's so unique these days. The reality is sometimes the least efficient things are the most effective. The least efficient things are the most effective. So sure, it may not be super efficient to talk to two people when you could have talked to 30, but I promise you it'll be far more effective. So the next networking event that you go to, pick one, two, maybe three people and have a real conversation. You first be open, honest, transparent. Watch them reciprocate and then connect with that person outside the event build a real relationship and see if you can really help them. It's the way the world works. You help that person. It's going to come back to you, whether it's from that person or from someone that person knows it's just the way it works. So if this was helpful, especially for those of you that your networking is not working, <laughs> hopefully this will get it to start working. It's a lot of working, but it is work. And the idea that you can network, and that it won't feel like work. Like for me, having those conversations, like that's work. You're investing your time. You're putting an effort towards connecting with someone. It's not easy. It's work. It's not supposed to be easy. All significant things, all good things, all successful things come with work. So with that, guys, this is episode 143 of the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow!